Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog of 2022. This is going to be a shopping vlog. I'm basically just going to take you guys along with me while I get a little bit of shopping done today. First thing I'm going to do is go to Target. I need to dispense some bags for recycling. I always come to Target to do that. That's pretty much the only thing that I'm going to do here. Then I need to go to the Dollar Tree, soon to be the buck and a quarter tree, and pick up some cleaning supplies. And then I want to go by Burlington. I mainly want to see if they have some uh, makeup organizers, some of those acrylic organizers, because I'm wanting to move some of my makeup around and reorganize some things. Mainly, I'm looking for one of those acrylic dividers. There are three sections in them. I have one right now that I am using for my foundations and I'm wanting to get a second one. It was like $6.99. I'm hoping to find another one exactly like the one that I already have. And I'm also hoping to find some of those cup organizers where it's the acrylic cup and they have like the three dividers in them. And I'm wanting to get that for my cream gel liners, my color liners, lip liners, eyeliners, because what I'm trying to do is make room in one of my drawers. If you guys have follow any of my vlogs, I have these two sets of drawers are like Alex drawers from Ikea but I actually get these from Amazon and I have one on either side of my vanity and what I'm trying to do is empty out the bottom drawer on the one on the right so that I can use that one for eyeshadow palettes. Right now I have my mirrors in there. I have cotton face pads. I have like an extra set of brushes or just some random things that are in there. I'm wanting to move my liners out of the liner drawer on the left one, empty one of the top drawers on my vanity, and then move some of the mirrors and stuff to that drawer. And if I can do that, then I can completely empty out that bottom drawer. I'm trying to avoid a ordering another set of those drawers. If I get another set, I'm going to get one of the taller ones. But like I said, I'm trying to avoid doing it for a little while. I don't need to have a whole set of 20 drawers specifically for eyeshadow palettes. That is a lot, but that's basically what we're looking at doing. I'm also planning on running to Five Below real quick because I need to get a birthday present for one of my son's friend. His birthday is today. He turned seven. My son turned nine on Sunday, so they both have birthdays this month. But yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. I'm going to run to Target, drop off these bags, and then we're going to go to Burlington and see if we can find some organizers. Hopefully, I can find what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's like nobody here. Like Target is basically empty right now. Since the store is like basically empty, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the little dollar section up here and see what they have real quick. They always have like really cute things. See they have it like Easter. These are cute. Oh my god, elephants. My daughter loves elephants. Some water bottles, some really cute candles. Ooh, that smells nice. You guys know I'm a candle whore. Charming peony. Morning donut, what morning donut smells like. Coffee and donut. Mm. That's all right. What else is over here? Oh, there's some Valentine's towels, gnomes. You guys know I am in love with the gnomes. Anytime I see gnomes, I get super excited. These are cute. Ooh, is that a Lazy Susie? No, it's just a tray. I can do something with that, though. That's cute. Oh my God. <laughs> it is a gnome cookie jar. $5, that's not bad. Ooh, I'm tempted, y'all. I'm tempted. Have some more little gnomes up here. These are these five dollars too. I think these are five dollars too. They have some little mini gnomes. These are three dollars. They have some little makeup organizers in here. Oh yeah, these are not the kind that I'm looking for, but they do have some nice ones here. The original plan was just to drop off my bags in Target, but since the store is practically empty, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the makeup section while I'm here too. See if I see anything new. It's like a lot of things I would like to try, but they're like not cruelty-free brands. And I, you know, I try to stay away from the brands that are not cruelty-free, as you guys know. Looks like Target is carrying some of the 
Disney Princess collections. I have this one and I have this one. I don't have the Beauty and the Beast one. New candles for the springtime. Okay, this one right here. Cucumber water and mint. I have got to see what this smells like. That so pretty. Definitely smells like cucumber. I'm definitely smelling the mint. I'm not sure what I think about that, but it's it's pretty. Red, mango, and amber. Let me see what this one smells like. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. And that one is a woodwick burner. We have some more gnomes. Oh my god, the gnomes. I can't get enough of the gnomes. So we're going to check out Burlington and see if I can find these organizers. Whenever I come in Burlington, I always check out the makeup section first to see what they have. This looks cute. Oh, okay, I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. It's just a face palette. That's cute. One thing about Burlington, it's kind of like TJ Maxx, the little makeup section, but it's it's never really that big. They don't have as much as like TJ Maxx and you know, Marshalls. Use the hands. All right, so that's it for the makeup section. I guess we'll go ahead and head over to the organizers, and maybe I can find these organizers that I'm wanting to get. also has some like really cute artwork. I got my makeup brush picture from here. That's cute. I'm inspired by Chanel number five. Okay, this is cute. That is cute. How much is that? $9.99. All right, the organizers are usually in this aisle. Um, I'm not really seeing anything. Here it is. That's the canvas I got to go on my background. It's the same one. Okay, this is cute. Ooh. This one is $7.99. Oh, that is cute. I, I might have to get this. We, we might have to get that. And some more organizers over here. All right, so far I'm not seeing that acrylic organizer. I, mean, I think it's Burlington that I got it from. I'm pretty sure that it was, but um, I am not seeing any of the organizers today. All right, so Burlington was a bust. Like, they didn't have any of the organizers that I like to get. I think I'm going to go to Marshall's and see what they have, but I, I'm, it's way it's way down there. I'm not about to walk down there. I'm going to walk back to my car and drive over there. Hopefully, we can find something at Marshall's because, yeah. All right, so we're going to give... Marshall's a try. They have some brush cups. Like I said, I'm wanting to see if I can find the cups that have the divider. We're in the makeup section right now. I always check, up, check out the makeup section when I'm in Marshalls. Healthy Skin Foundation. Unfortunately, Physician's Formula is no longer considered cruelty-free. What is this? Marc Jacobs Mega Bronze Palette. Sometimes you get lucky and you find some really cool finds. I like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So that's what I'm just kind of looking to see what they have. Oops, sounds like somebody does not, somebody does not sound happy. I don't know if you can hear that baby crying in the background. But yeah, somebody doesn't sound happy. i tell you what, man, if NARS was cruelty-free, I would be all over them. I have been wanting to try NARS for a while, but yeah, they're not cruelty-free. I got some Valentine's Day stuff out. Hey guys, so I don't know what happened, but somehow the last clip that I filmed, which was my haul, it's missing. I don't know if I like accidentally deleted it 
or if I filmed it or if I, you know, I thought I filmed it, but I didn't actually film it. I don't know, but it's missing. So yeah, I didn't find the organizer, the little three divided organizer that I actually wanted from Burlington that I saw last time, the one that I showed you at the very beginning of the video. But I do have this one from the Dollar Tree. See, I've got this one right here that I got from the Dollar Tree. It actually has a top that went with it. I had two, but one was cracked and I didn't realize it until I brought it home. It's not the same size as this one. It's a little you know, kind of cheaply made. It's not as good a quality, but it'll work for now so I can find another one like this. I also picked this up. I got this, I think I got this from Marshalls, if I'm remembering correctly. I wanted the one that had the dividers, you know, has like the three little sections so I could actually kind of section off the pencils, but this actually works really, really good. I love the fact that it's attached in the middle. I have my colored cream gel eyeliners in this one. I have my lip liners in here and it is absolutely perfect. It has like saved me so much space. Originally they were in this top drawer right here in little baskets like this but since I was finally able to find a little cup holder that works for them I could take them out and I move my lashes into here. My lashes they were in this drawer but I was able to take the lashes out of here and move them into that other drawer. I also had this in this drawer right here but i was able to move that out so what that allowed me to do was to take the mirrors and stuff that were in this drawer because if you guys have seen me do like my makeup organizing videos before this drawer is where i had my mirrors and a bunch of other stuff but since i was able to take them out now i have an empty drawer for palettes which is what i was hoping for because I'm, I'm trying to avoid having to buy another one of these anytime soon so with the way that i was able to organize things i have a little bit more space and it's really cool when you're able to make space when you have just a little bit of space like i do because i mean this is basically all of my makeup storage right here and then the shelf you know on that wall over there but yeah so that's that's what i was able to do all right guys so that is the end of my first vlog of 2022 my first little shopping vlog um it's been a while i think i did a shopping vlog like early last year i'm not sure but let me know down in the comments if you like this type of content because i would love to do more vlogs throughout the year my plan is to eventually be able to upload at least five days a week and then to do a lot more on my TikTok and my Instagram. Right now I've been working a lot because I'm kind of trying to get caught up on some things because I had taken like two, two and a half weeks off during Christmas. So once I get caught up on that, I'm going to drop back down to my three days a week and then I should have more time to film and kind of get to where I'm wanting to be. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.